Here's an example of calculating the population variance of x using the shortcut formula. So calculate the population variance of the random variable x with probability density function f of x equals x over 2 for x values between 0 and 2. We can see by the support here that this is a continuous random variable. It's pretty simple to plot. So let's go ahead and do so. Support goes from 0 to 2. And x over 2 is just a line through the origin. And it peaks there at 1. And we have seen this distribution before. In an earlier exercise, we calculated the expected value of x, and that is mu, which is the expected value of x. And that is the integral over the support from 0 to 2 of x multiplied by the probability density function x over 2 dx. Again, we worked out that uh, integral earlier. It's just a polynomial, so easy to do. We get 4 thirds, and 4 thirds is the balance point of this distribution, slightly to the right of 1 because there is more density out here on the right. Now, the next thing we want to do is use the shortcut formula to find the population variance. <clears throat> and in that case, sigma squared, which is the variance of x, using the shortcut formula is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. And that will be, so first of all, for the expected value of x squared, this x squared goes right there, you have the integral of the support over the support, which is from 0 to 2 of x squared, multiplied by the probability density function x over 2 dx minus and then you want to subtract off the population mean squared. So the population mean is 4 thirds squared. This is a reasonable integral to work out because again it's x cubed divided by 2. So when you integrate that you'll get x to the fourth divided by 8. And when you work out the arithmetic you will come up with 2 ninths. So 2 ninths is a measure of how spread out this distribution is um, relative to its mean. So if it were tightly clustered around 4 thirds, you would get a smaller value here. If it's spread way, way out, you would get a larger value here. The mean and the variance can be calculated in Apple in the following fashion. Here x is set equal to a list of three lists, and the first list contains the probability density function. The second list contains the support. And the third list contains two strings. The first tells you it's a continuous random variable. And the second string says that x over 2 is a probability density function. Then if you simply call the mean function and the variance function, they will return 4 thirds and 2 ninths as exact fractions.